So let's understand the Kochef lunchtime problem. Guess the number. First, let's start with the problem statement. Chef asks his brother Chefu to choose a number n, to choose a number n, and then he gives a number a and asks his brother to multiply this to the chosen number a. Uh, sorry, chosen number n. So we have n into a is what Chefu has in his mind. And then to this product, he asks Chefu to choose a number d and add it to this product. And d is a number such that d is a divisor of n. That is, d divides n completely. So this is the number that Chefu has in his mind right now. So let's denote this by m. And Chefu tells this number back to Chef. So he tells back M to Chef. Now Chef's task or our task is to tell all the possible values of N that Chefu could have chosen initially. So one thing to notice here is that D is an integer. Okay, because D is divisor of N. So D is an integer. So we'll be using this fact. So D is an integer. And what is N? N is Q times D plus some remainder. Obviously, if we divide N by D, then what we get is Q into D plus some R. And since D is a divisor of N, that is D completely divides N. So R is zero. So basically N is some quotient into D. So we can write that Q into D into A plus D. Taking out D common will give us Q A plus one. Now we will be using the fact that D is an integer. If D is an integer, so D, we can write D equal to M by Q plus Q into A plus one. So this also has to be an integer. If D is an integer, so M by Q into A plus one should also be an integer. And for this to be an integer, what should happen is that Q A plus one should be a divisor of M. Okay. Because we want this to be an integer. So Q, Q into A plus one should completely divide M. So this should be a divisor of M. So what we do is we calculate all factors of M and store it in a list. Suppose we have a list factors. So what we are doing is we are calculating all the factors of M and we are storing that in a list. So what we are doing is factors is that list where we have stored all the factors of uh, all the factors of M and we will now iterate over this. So what we do is for for suppose we take F only for F in factors. We are now iterating over this. So what we now now one thing to notice is that so so what will be F? So F will be equal to Q A plus one. Obviously this is F all the F's. So now we need to see that what all F's do we actually need? We'll not be taking all these F's into consideration. What F's will be taken into consideration is F equal to Q A plus one. This is what is the factors. Now, now we know A, we know A and one thing more that you need to observe is that D is an integer. So Q is also an integer. So again, we can write that Q is equals to F minus one by A. So this should also be an integer. If Q is an integer, so this should also be an integer. And for this to be an integer, A should completely divide F minus one. So we will now see that only. So if F minus one mod A equal to equal to zero, that is if we divide F minus one by A and the remainder is zero. So that means that means Q is also an integer. Okay. So now both the conditions are met. So Q is an integer and D is also an integer. Now what we do is now we want to find N. So what is N? N is Q into D. So we need to find Q and D. So, so what is Q? Q is this. F minus one by A. So Q is what? Q is F minus one by A. And what is D? 
B is M Q A plus one. Now what is Q A plus one? Q A plus one is actually F. So what we have M by F. And what is N? N is equals to Q into D. That's it. We have N. Now we'll get all such Ns. We store all such Ns in some list and we also increment a count. We also increment a count because we finally we want to output a number as well as all the values of n. So we store all the values of n in a list and and uh, we also keep on incrementing the count. So finally we output the count and we sort n because that is what is required in the output. We, we need sorted n's to be displayed. So we sort n, we first display the count, then we display the sorted n. So that's all for this question. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, if you understood it, please hit the like button. And if you have any doubts regarding the question, please put them in the comment section. And I, I will also put uh, the Python solution in the description. If you require to have a look on to it, please have a look. Thank you.